Right, I tell you, I do chance, and this thing here is one of the best creator laptops without a doubt. And yeah, nah, you can leave a dislike if I'm lying to you because this has a feature that no other laptop has, no other creator laptop has, and it truly does separate this from its competition. This is the ZenBook Pro OLED 10 bit 4K plus panel 16 by 10. It says like 550 nits peak brightness. I measured 650 peak brightness, 100% P3, touch, pen. You can see it here compared to an LED display, which is pretty much the same specifications. Night and day difference, right? Up to 12900H, RTX 3060, Wolf. That's what separates this from, say, the XPS 15 that caps out at a 3050 Ti, which only has 4 gigabytes of video memory. RTX 3060 is awesome because it has 6 gigabytes of video memory. It's actually a 90 watt or two, and this thing can sustain 115 watts CPU and GPU, boost up to 140 watts CPU and GPU. And it comes with a small 200 watt power supply and 49 decibels under full load. You can actually put it in quiet mode too, but 49 decibels under full load makes this sort of like 10 decibels less than say a gaming laptop. PCI Express 4 SSD, DDR5 up to 32 gigs, all the ports you want, Thunderbolt 4, SD card reader, and comes in a 16.9 mils thin and 2.4 kilos. Premium aluminium build. This thing is really good. Actually, the speakers are good. The trackpad's good. It actually doubles up as a number pad too. And it's haptic. It's like a MacBook Pro. Ah, oh, finally. But that's not the best thing. <laughs> now, the keyboard is good. It raises when you open the laptop. However, you will have to get used to how deep it is. Once you get used to that, the keyboard's fine. 97 watt hour battery gets you about six sort of hours of general sort of use there. You know, not mind blowing battery life, but it's okay. Especially with a 4K display. So it's ticking all the boxes there. Awesome display. When you see LED compared to OLED, man. Going back to LED is depressing. It is 60 hertz. I think that's fine on the Creator laptop. And this thing can actually game too. As I said before, 115 watts, you know, CPU and GPU together so tick 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 battery life sort of average still gets a tick all the ports thunderbolt 4 sd card so if it was only just that it would be a great creator laptop just with those things but there's one thing that separates this from the competition it has a dial pad now by default that can you know change your brightness and volume no big deal but you know if you're an artist if you're creative and you use software that supports these dials because you can buy like a separate discrete dial a lot of artists use these with the software they use they'll use the pen which we have for this laptop and a dial right so maybe a desktop pc with a wacom a dial maybe a surface studio or maybe it's one of these wacoms that's in this case i've got which you should stay tuned for that but this is truly game changing for creatives that use these sort of dials and pens etc because there's no other laptop that has all these features you won't have to carry anything around with you the trackpad's good enough the pen's actually really good you can change the nib and it just charges with usb the dial takes this to another level and if you have software that takes advantage of this it's truly game changing if i compare this to an xps 15 or an xps 17 it does around 40 watts more power. Has the same sort of OLED display the XPS 17 has. It's actually lighter. So it's got more power, better display, has pen and a dial. This thing is the best Windows Creator laptop out there, without question, right now. So what are the downsides? Mediocre battery life. These Intel chips, that's how it is. And 4K, you're going to, you know, suck the juice with a 4K display. Trackpad, sometimes when I was selecting text, it would unselect. I don't know if I was touching it wrong or whatever, but that can be fixed with a firmware update. And that's the good thing, right? If it was a normal trackpad, they could maybe update the firmware, but not to the degree that they can do it with this haptic sort of trackpad here. With the number pad built in, it's just amazing. So, yeah. Anyway, if you're a creator and you need a dial and you just want an awesome creator laptop, top with lots of power this is the way to go catch in the next one tally ho